Sam's taking his seat while the others trick or treat. Here's your spooky spot on the NECA Toys Trick or Treat Sam Head Knockers. You might look like your average costume kid, but beneath Sam's mask lies an ancient and sinister spirit of Halloween, ready to enforce the traditional rules of the holiday. I sure hope this review is all treats and no tricks. Just before, of course, we get a closer look at the NECA Toys Head Knockers Trick or Treat Sam, first the tape measure is going to tell us that Sam sits, it's not standing this time around, at around 7 inches in height, or the bobble head of the spirit of Halloween is about 17 centimeters tall. Speaking of tricks, I see we're being joined again by the dimensional candle. No messages for me this time around? You gonna give me something good to eat? What? My soul? You stupid candle. Getting though a closer look at the head knockers, Sam, first the thing you'll notice when you get this thing out of the package, I want to say figure. The thing you'll notice right away when you get the bobblehead out of the packaging is it's substantially heavy. It's cast in resin, very meticulously painted that we'll talk more about in a moment. First though, if we tip this upside down. Sorry, what? I thought you said something. No hard feelings, by the way, about calling you a stupid candle, right? Right? It keeps talking about souls. On the bottom of this, you can see it says legendary. It says 2022. Truth be told, I didn't recently pick this up. I actually picked this up last year, but I picked it up just off the cusp of what would be the Spottober season. So I thought, you know what? We'll just kind of rebound this. We'll jump over and then we'll review this again in 2024, which is bringing us to the dance right now. Sam, as you can see, is also sitting on top of what looks to be a very large rock face. Nicely painted here in gray, all the foliage around him as well. If I spin this around so you guys can see it. You've got some green, well, I guess they're no longer green. You've got some leaves of red, oranges, and yellows all sprinkled around Sam's feet. To the side of Sam's feet, you also see as well, he's got his little sack. What's stored inside the sack? I don't think any of us really want to know. But on the other side, though, we've got ourselves that famous jack-o'-lantern that we see inside Mr. Krieg's house. I have tried to do this, this carving of pumpkin. I don't know why I had such a hard time. All it is is really just triangles. If you know anything about carving triangles, it's only three sides. And you just have to do that several times. It got to around here, where I think what I was doing, I was ca carving the triangles, and then I got to about here and I realized I was running out of space. I know nothing about the spacing of triangles. What I do know, though, is that that's a nice-looking jack-o'-lantern. You can see it's got some wash there. They've added a darker kind of brown finish, I suppose, to it. And of course, as we move our way up, we get right to Sam, the subject of this matter. Sam's obviously got his footed pajamas on there. The only thing I would say, though, is taking this guy out of the packaging, one thing you may want to be worrying about is perhaps his little tiny digits. I don't know if these piggies are going to the market or they're just scaring some neighborhood bully. But anyways, you can see these tiny little fingers are probably because they're obviously made of resin might be the thing that might break on this if you're not too careful. Don't tap his fingers, whatever you do. Overall, though, it's nicely colored here. The oranges aren't quite the same oranges they use for the jack o' lantern, so I like that there's... I mean, they're not wanting to match the same oranges, and that's probably a good thing as well. you got a little patch there off the side, sewn there as well. And, of course, the largest thing on Sam is obviously his bobbling head. Now, the burlap sack has been nicely done here. Crisscross applesauce, you've got yourself these sewn-on buttons, a nice stitching there on the front, and a stitching running... Well, intersecting somewhat in the middle. This gives him the idea that he has a mouth. Uh, I like the way that they've actually sewn this, so it looks like it's tight. Of course, you've got the rope down there as well. It's a really nicely colored bobble... Sorry, what? <laughs> I keep thinking you're saying something to me. It's a really nice looking bobblehead, and obviously one thing I had to do just uh, uh, before hitting record again, instead of the opener of this, I had to just take off the little bit of saran wrap that was wrapped around the bottom of his neck. Does everybody call that saran wrap? Sandwich wrap? The little bit of plastic that was wrapped around his neck just to prevent the head from bo obviously bobbling. From a bobbling standpoint, it bobbles actually quite well. Um, this won't be something I will be putting out all year round. I think Sam's going to be set aside for doing what I'll be doing every season of Halloween. I'll just be putting this guy probably on my mantle. And then at the end of Halloween, which for me, I start dressing everything down probably about mid-November. I like to drag Halloween as long as I can. Sam's going to be very, very sitting very nicely on my mantle. First time actually unboxing this guy. I'm really happy with how he turned out. 
Uh, again, like he's got some decent weight to him. He's got some really nice looking paint. I think they've done a really nice job painting the, the off coloring of the burlap. There's some darker colors added in there as well. Like, yeah, it's a really nice looking bobblehead. Uh, NECA has done several bobbleheads, not so many really relating to this specific spooky season, but the ones that they have released, especially if you're a big fan of Trick or Treat and Sam especially, this one's a nice release if you get the chance to pick it up. Two things do seem apparent now wrapping up this review. I've come to terms with the fact that maybe I won't ever get the chance to speak to Charlie that goes through this suspect sold spirit candle of mine. Sure, I'm hearing spirit sounds, but I recognize Charlie the Ghost Cockney accent a mile away, and so far none of the ghosts have had them. Not to mention, too, Charlie really didn't make too much of a mention of souls. He said every once in a while, but this candle just seems to keep talking about souls. Something seems up. As a side note, though, I probably shouldn't have called the candle stupid, so I apologize for that candle. It's currently looking at me at the far corner of the room. Could you at least turn around? Okay. The other thing that's ever apparent to me is why did I wait so long to keep Sam still in the packaging? First, I should have looked at this guy a lot sooner. Second, I can't see why this guy would only be out during the Hallows season. I usually pack everything up in the house when it comes to my Halloween decorations, probably like the second week of November. I think Sam might stay out after that time and just be on my display all year round. It's a well-painted resin uh, bobblehead. I mean, obviously, if, you know, if you're not into really collecting bobbleheads, it's probably a hard sell to, to give you guys. But if you are a fan of the character, you got to admit, though, that NECA's talented team behind the scenes did a really great job of casting this in resin and very meticulously painting as well. He's sitting down on the rock. He's got Mr. Krieg's jack-o'-lantern on one side, the sack of mystery on the other. It's a good size bobblehead, too. Like, it feels like it's got some substantial weight. Things that could potentially break on that are maybe the fingers for Sam. So just tread cautiously when it comes to taking this guy out. Whether you want to take them out and have them permanently on display, or if you're the other person that just likes to have stuff out for Halloween only, and then put everything back away and then get everything ready for Christmas. When it comes to decorating your, your house for Halloween, when's the time do you actually start putting out your decorations, and when do you start putting them away? Maybe you're even one of those people that just keep them out all year round, and I respect a person like that. Let me know what you guys think of this bobblehead down below in the comment section, whether you had the chance to pick this one up, or this is maybe one that's on your radar now thanks to this review. If you enjoyed this spooktacular review, do a solid hit and like. You guys want to stick around for more so? I hope so. Hit the subscribe, turn on that bell, and of course, come back. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.